everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who are new, I am Sethi Ojo and today I have for you guys the third episode of Sex Ed with Say and the topic will be all about the menstrual cycle. Let us tackle the menstrual cycle first. This is very, very important information that everyone should have knowledge about. I know this was taught in school but perhaps hindi kayo nakinig sa class or talagang wala kayong alam about it and that is totally not acceptable because this is basic knowledge that you should have how the female body works and hindi lang siya for women kasi if you are a man and you get into a relationship with a woman you must understand how her body works this is the main reason why here at sex ed would say i try to explain things as simply as i can Para talagang maintindihan niya yung mga sinasabi ko. Let us start with day number one of the cycle and this is considered the first day of the period of a woman. So during this period, we have low levels of the hormone estrogen which in turn makes us more depressed and more irritable. Usually from day one, day two, day three, sobrang mainit ang ulo ko. As in sobrang init ng ulo ko and all I wanna do is curl up into a ball and just lie down the entire day. Also, usually, pinakamalakas yung period ko during day number one, two, and three. Personally speaking, my period only lasts five days. I've been tracking my period for years now, and every cycle talaga, five days lang and then tapos na. Yung ibang babae naman, pwedeng mas mahaba, yung iba pwedeng mas maikli. It all depends on your body. So lahat tayo unique talaga and you really have to keep track of your cycle to get to know yourself better. Now we move on to day 6 to 14. This is called the ovulation period and this is the period wherein you can get pregnant. This is the period where the endometrium or the uterine lining begins to prepare for the possibility of a pregnancy. Again, the ovulation period is where you are most fertile and pwede kang mabuntis. Between day 14 and day 25 naman, an egg will be released by your ovary and then it will travel down your fallopian tubes. And as a fallopian tube naman, if meron present na sperm cell, pwedeng ma-fertilize yung egg ninyo and then kapag na-fertilize na yung egg, bababa yung egg sa uterus nyo and then it will attempt to implant itself on the uterus wall and then that in turn will turn into a pregnancy. Day 25 to day 28 naman, if your egg does not get fertilized kasi walang present na sperm, then the hormonal changes will signal the uterus to shed its lining. And then babalik tayo sa day number 1, kapag nag-shed na yung lining ng uterus natin, that is the period. Dito rin papasok yung PMS, and PMS stands for Premenstrual Syndrome, and this usually happens 5 to 11 days before your period. So ako, bago ako magkaroon, I turn into a monster. As in, girl, grabe ako mag-PMS. I crave a lot of food, I get very irritable, sobrang mainit ang ulo ko talaga. I sometimes bloat then. I feel ko parang fever siya ka init, init lage. But sa all over irritable ako. I also get cramps and then sobrang sakit ng boobs ko whenever I PMS. And I also break out. So kapag nagkaroon na ako, that's the time na parang nag clear up na yung skin ko and mas nagiging normal na tao ako ulit. So again, PMS is such a pain in the ass because it just makes you feel all sorts of emotions and. It's not a fun phase. Alright, so now I will share with you guys what app I use to track my period. I know there are a lot of different apps you can use, but this one I've been using this for 10 years now. And it's very easy to use and it's called Pink Pad Pro. So on this app, you will see different kinds of icons. And for example, we have the blooming flowers. And this will signify your fertile days and yung mga araw na pwede kang mabuntis. And then we also have the days with the white dots or parang mukha siyang egg. And these are your predicted period days. We also have other icons for spotting, for light flow, medium flow, heavy flow, and even due date. If ever you are using this app to track your pregnancy, pwede rin siyang gamitin. Sobrang helpful talaga, lalo na if you want to keep track of what happens in your body. The average cycle of a woman is 21 to 35 days, and since I've been tracking my own cycle for the longest time now, approximately na sa 33 days yung cycle ko. You have to get to know your body more, especially as you grow older. Alright, so now we move on to the second part of this video wherein we tackle the different stuff we can use when we get our period. So the very first one and the most common one is a sanitary pad. 
I've been a sanitary pad user or a napkin user for the longest time. And usually, ang ginagamit kong brand is Sophie. S-O-F-Y. It's a Japanese brand. And I am a heavy bleeder. So, I often use yung mga super duper haba for overnight use talaga. So, I really love that brand because it's very soft. I don't get irritation or rash kapag ginagamit ko yun. Since before I used um, the brand Whisper, uh, ito yung Whisper from years ago ha. Whisper siya pero very plasticky talaga yung nagtatouch sa skin ko. So, before I remember getting really bad rashes because of that. So, I really switched to a brand na very soft and very non-irritating. This is another one, another brand from Juness. Um, ito lang kasi yung meron akong stock sa bahay. So, this is what I'm using as an example. This is a pad for a regular flow lang. As you can see, it's not super duper long. You can either use yung may wings or walang wings. But I prefer no wings. I don't know, it's just my preference. Again, every woman is different. And you really have to get to know your body para malaman mo what works for you. For the tampons naman, I believe I just started using them mga two or three years ago. I know humping. I had a beach trip and then nagkaroon ako. Sabi ko, oh my gosh, sayang yung beach trip ko. I decided to try out tampons. I remember feeling very, very scared. Sobrang natakot ako kasi sabi ko, ang una mo makikita is information about toxic shock syndrome. And here I have on Google, Toxic shock syndrome is a sudden, potentially fatal condition. Oh, di ba na hagat siya agad? Caused by the release of toxins from an overgrowth of bacteria called staph. Toxic shock syndrome affects menstruating women, especially those who use super absorbent tampons. So here we have the possible signs and symptoms of TSS, sudden high fever, low blood pressure, vomiting or diarrhea. Rash resembling a sunburn, confusion, muscle aches, redness of your eyes, mouth and throat, and seizures. So yun talaga yung tumatak sa akin. Uh, sabi ko, oh my gosh, parang hesitant ako itry ang tampons because of that. But I still ended up using the tampons because I needed to. So pumunta pa rin ako ng beach and sabi ko kailangan kong itry to. So uh, this is what the tampon looks like. If you haven't seen a tampon yet, ganito yung itsura niya. So we have the stick over here, we have the string, and then this is the tampon mismo. So ito yung papasok sa vagina mo. So kunwari ito yung vagina mo, ganito ko siyang hawakan. So here, dalawang kamay, ito yung tip. Alright? So papasok mo siya sa vagina. Pag pinasok mong ganon, dapat pasok na pasok yung buo, and then you start pushing. Itong straw part, you start pushing it in. Okay? Nakahawa ka pa rin sa base, nakahawa ka pa rin dito. So, you push it in and lalabas sa loob yung cotton part. So, ito yung mag absorb ng period ninyo. And then, you just pull out the plastic. And then, ito lang yung matitira sa labas ng vagina ninyo. I really like using tampons before because it's very convenient to use when you are at the beach. Also, very easy to insert in my opinion since I know my body pretty well. And that is one of the main reasons why kailangan talaga familiar ka sa vagina mo as a woman, also very easy to remove. So you just have to pull this and then lalabas siya ng kusa. So one thing na natakot ako ng bongga, ng konting-konti lang naman, is if matanggal or maputol yung string, but I haven't had that problem naman. So just like our sanitary pads, we also have different kinds for our tampons. So here we have light, regular, super, and super plus. So this one right here is a super. So again, it all depends on your needs. If you are looking after the environment, look at this. Plastic. Plastic. With the sanitary pads naman, plastic. Isipin nyo kung gano kadaming waste. And this one right here, it's not even full cotton. Meron din siyang mga plastic lining, so hindi naman lahat yan biodegradable. And that is one of the reasons why I wanted to explore other options. So for the longest time, I've been hearing about menstrual cups, but I've never really tried it because number one, I'm scared. Yun lang talaga yung main reason ko. I was scared because girl, look at that. It's a cup. Like compared to the tampon, kasi yung tampon parang mas malit yung tampon, de ba? 
comparing the two naman. But this one expands in size, of course. It will absorb all your vaginal fluid, all the mucus, and all the blood, lahat maga absorb dito. So if you are a heavy bleeder, pag pinol out mo to, kasha naman siya, of course, kasha sa vagina mo yan, it will easily slide out. Um, but yeah, it will like triple or double in size according to um, how much you bleed. So yeah, I was just very scared of this one because hello, it's a cup girl. Sabi ko paano yan? And I know that there are a lot of different variants or brands out there available in the market, but I really wanted to support local. So the brand that I picked out is called Sinaya Cup. So number one reason why I chose it because number one, locally made. It is a local brand, so we are supporting local when we order from Sinaya Cup. This is in no way sponsored. I put down here on my notebook, ang binayaran kong total is 1,319 pesos. Kasama na shipping fee doon. Um, this Sinaya Cup is 1,199 pesos. So, 1-2 siya. And I ordered the large size. Actually, they have two sizes, small and large. And they have on their website a test, a very easy test you can take to determine whether you need a small or a large. And since I am a heavy bleeder, sabi ko, hmm, automatic large to. So, ganito yung eternal packaging niya. Even the packaging is very eco-friendly. Everything is from cardboard. So, kapag open mo, you see the pouch over here. It says, Sinaya Cup. And nasa loob na yung menstrual cup natin. Ito yung itsura niya. Sabi ko nga, oh my gosh. First impression ko, sa ko, girl, ang laki niya. Parang, kakasha ba yan sa akin? Yun ang una kong naisip. And then, the packaging itself, you can open it up. And then, everything, all the information will be found inside. So, I made sure to watch an instructional video on YouTube. So, number one talaga, you have to sterilize your cup muna. Ang ginawa ko, I boiled it in water. Pakuluan mo muna for 15 minutes. Then, you have to wash it with soap and water. You have two different folds. So, you can find that sa mga instructional video on YouTube and also on the packaging itself. So, it says here, punch down fold and the C fold. So, yung C fold natin is just basically making a letter C sa opening. Kanyan lang. And then, yung punch down naman is you punch down one side like that. Ito na yung punch down fold. Next step naman is insertion. A lot of people are very hesitant, like me, kasi isipin mo, paano kakasha tong cup na to in my vagina? So this is the part wherein you are gonna get to know more talaga about your body, specifically your vagina. So number one, you have to find a fold that works for you. Number two, kailangan alam mo yung position na mag work for you. Again, yung iba kasi naka-squat, yung iba naka-semi-squat. So, iba-iba. So, it all depends on how you're gonna work with your body. So, as for me, naka-squat ako over the toilet, and then I bend forward lang konti. I think that is the right angle for me to work with para talagang yung insertion niya is very breezy. Held it like this, pababa, and then pinasa kong ganun. Like this, okay? And then, just continue pushing it inward. So, hinahawakan ko yung stem na to, yung pinakadulo. So, eto, ganito yung hawak ko. And then, I push it in, 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 in. And then, lakitin nyo, nag-pop, ba? So, yun kasi ang natural na mangyayari. Kapag pumasok na yung menstrual cup sa vagina mo, sabi ko, okay, paano ko kaya malalaman if it's properly inside na? And then, I felt a plop. I felt this. Yung ganon. Oh, I feel it sa loob eh. Kailangan mo siyang ma-experience. And then, I tried tugging into the stem. And then, I felt resistance. I felt the suction. So, kapag mo feel mo suction, ibig sabihin, it's in completely. At first, I felt very weird as if may something sa loob ng vagina ko. And first day ko, wow, sobrang sakit ng puson ko talaga. I went to pee two hours after I put it in. And yes, you can pee while the cup is still inside you, habang suot mo yung cup, you can still pee. For the removal naman, I sat on the toilet with my legs spread. So, I was feeling around my vagina, my vulva, and then I felt the stem. Ang ginawa ko, I held the stem. And, girls, since we created a suction, ba? Before pulling it out or before, like, pushing it out with your pelvic muscles, you have to remove the suction muna. So, ang gagawin nyo is hold the stem 
and then just push one side like this. Okay, kung nalatay yung vagina ko. Push one side like this. It will break the suction. And then just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Naturally, your body will expel the cup. And hindi ako nasaktan at all. Hindi ako nasaktan. So, dahan-dahan lang. Parang umiire ka. Parang ganun yung feeling. And uh, eventually, lumabas yung cup. And then, I check kung gano kadami yung dinugu ko the past two hours. And I was in the middle. Ang konti lang pala. So, that's like 3.5. 3.5 ml. Kasi may nakalagay dito eh. Uh, 7.5 and 15. Hinugasa ko siya ng soap and water. And then I did the punch down fold again. And then I reinserted it. And then I went out to walk Kainu. And then I worked out. Guys, my gosh. Ito yung talagang ultimate test because I really work out. I do yoga, pilates, and all that stuff. So after working out, I went ahead to go shower. So I sat on my small chair or stool. And medyo nagpanik ako kasi sabi ko, hindi ko makita yung stem. Medyo kinabahan ako ng konti. But if that happens to you, Breathe. That's all you have to remember. If you start panicking, just breathe. So if you start panicking and you get stressed, you feel niya yon sa vagina niyo. As in, magdetighten yung vagina niyo, and then you're gonna start tugging and everything, and you won't get it out because nga lalong iniipit ng vagina mo yung cup. So again, you have to breathe. You have to relax para relax din yung muscles ng vagina mo, and then you can be able to naturally remove the cup. So again. Break the suction muna. So once you locate this, you can push a little bit downward. Push. Para kang tatae or whatever. Push. Locate the stem. Break the suction. And then push some more. Just push, push, and push, and push. It's like giving birth to a menstrual cup. So as you get used to it more, mas mabilis yung pagtanggal at pagpaso. So after that workout, I also checked kung gaano kadaming blood yung napuno ko sa cup. Again, guys, surprisingly, I was still at 3.5. Sobrang weird. Sabi ko, ganun lang pala kakonti. Like, 3.5 lang. Ganito lang. And then, the first night naman, girl, I slept for 12 hours. Yun yung araw na sobrang antok ako. 12 hours ako natulog. So, 12 hours ko tong suot. So, when I woke up, I went to the restroom agad. So, I peed. And then, I checked. Again, tinanggal ko. Sabi ko, gano'ng kadaming blood kaya. Since 12 hours yun, ha? I was at 7.5. So, again, half lang. Nagulat ako sa ko, ganun lang pala. I mean, I was expecting more. Like, di ba pag nakapads ako, sabi ko, wow, ang daming dugo. Like, buong dugo-dugo ng buwangga. But with the cup, 7.5 ml. And then, that was it. Sabi ko, hmm, that's cool. So, for day number two, I had the same routine. I walked Kainu. I did an intense workout. And then, I think I changed siguro three times or four times. It's very comfortable to use kapag nasa bahay ka. I have my sink right in front of my toilet so when i remove this i dump and then i wash again with um or i wash agad with soap and water and then reinsert um i just don't see myself using this a public restroom so my period lasted for i think four to five days today is my last day and i stopped using the cup today because pagising ko kanina umaga i removed it there wasn't any blood left in the cup so I go, okay my period is done so, tinanggal ko na siya, hindi ko na siya ginamit. But overall, hello, walang leaks. And then, also, you're saving the environment. Hello, wala ka na mga plastic stuff na gaganitin. Again, we are saving the earth. I think my biggest concern is changing sa public restroom. I don't see myself changing sa public restroom at all. Because this takes a lot of time. Lalo na kapag magkatanggal ka, you have to relax in everything. And parang nakaka-stress lang if you're gonna do it sa public restroom. And I need to have a sink right in front of me para mahugasan ko siya ng thoroughly. I had so much fun doing this video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed episode number 3 of Sex Ed Would Say and of course my review of the Sinaya Cup. Again, I am so happy with my purchase and if ever you have more questions about this cup, please comment down below and I'll reply to your comments. So that is it for our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If ever you haven't watched episodes 1 and 2 of Sex Ed Would Say, please do. I'll have the links in the information box. Thank you for watching. Bye!